if you are given a system of the of the following complex numbers you're gonna do the following one eliminate one of the variable so eliminate so i'm gonna choose that i now so to get rid of that i i'm gonna multiply the, the bottom coefficient with the top one and then the top coefficient with the bottom one so it's gonna be like so so this is one minus that i plus three i that two plus two i plus three because i squared is equal to negative one then negative one times negative one give you positive three and then this one gonna be now we're gonna drop that one down so gonna be i minus i one minus i plus this multiply that's minus one time is one plus two i that is z two time with that one that multiply by one that's gonna give you one minus i so this one we are getting rid of it so it is zero so it's zero now and then so gonna clean this one up so to clean that one up we're gonna say 3i which is from here minus the whole thing which is 1 plus 2i minus i plus 2z 2 is equal to is equal to 2i plus 3 minus 1 minus i so this is 3i 3, uh, 3i minus 3 into bracket i z2 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 3i plus 3i so this 2 is coming from this one then 3 is coming from uh, 2i plus plus i so clean it up so more is gonna be 2i minus 3i z2 is equal to 2 plus 3i now divide both sides by 2i minus 3 both sides by 2i minus 3 so that one is gone but we have to, to multiply the bottom one to get rid of i from the bottom so gonna be multiplied by the next one so we have seen that 2 is equal to 2 plus 3i over 3 minus 3 plus 2i i'm just reordering so that i can get the conjugate so the conjugate here is minus 3 minus 2i over minus 3 minus 2i so the whole thing here gonna give you uh, minus 6 minus 14 4i minus 9i plus 6 all over it's just the square of this plus the square of that so that is 9 plus 4 that should give you this one gonna go with that one so that is minus minus 13i over over 13 so we have find that we have found out that that um that 2 is minus minus i now let's solve for for the other variables so step 2 the second variable
So the second is just get one of the equation and then plug it in. So let's say I I said one plus two I times Z two, but we know Z two is that one now, so it's gonna be minus I is equal to to one. So that uh, that one times i plus multiply this one by negative i. So that's gonna be minus i. This one gonna be plus two because uh, i squared is negative one times negative one give you positive two. That is equal to one. Now clean it up. So so for so for z1 so z1 is actually equal to to um, to 1 minus 2 plus i all over i which is this one so z1 is equal to is equal to minus 1 plus i all over over i but i down there so to get rid of this one multiply by the conjugate so the conjugate here is minus one minus i over minus i so minus i times min, minus i times i is equal to is always negative one and then this one times that gonna be gonna be gonna be positive i because negative times negative give you positive minus plus one here because i times i give you i squared but i squared is negative one times negative one give you positive one but we have a negative down here so the whole thing gonna be The whole thing gonna be I this one is negative one, that one is positive. So this gonna be B I is this time that I okay this one is one. So that's gonna give us one. That was a little bit of headache, but yeah, you have seen it. So Z1 is equal to one plus I. So the solution here, you can just see the solutions are Z1 is equal to one plus I. Z2 is equal to minus I. You can verify to find out if I'm right or not. Thanks for your time.